that they turned away? It's talking to the disbelievers of the people of the book. That's what the whole context was from the very start. That is referring to the people of the book, what they say about Je what they say about God, what they say about Jesus, what how they make it more than what he is, and so Allah clarifies. And so when you get to verse 76, it says, Do you serve besides Allah that, that which you control neither for harm nor good? And Allah is hearing the knowing. And then verse 77, say, O people of the book, exaggerate not in the matter of your religion unjustly. And follow not the low desires of people who went astray before and led many astray and went astray from their right. So it's clear that the whole context is referring to the people of the book and how the people of the book have made Jesus more than what he was or how the Jews, they lie about Mary. Okay. No, 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 that's not what I said. I said it has nothing to do with the Trinity. Verse 75 is not talking about the Trinity now. Verse 75 is telling you Jesus is the Messiah. You see, verse 75 is telling you that Jesus is the Messiah. Verse 73 is talking about the denial of God being part of three people, a group of three people. Okay. It's not it's not a part of it dealing with the Trinity. No, no, it's not a part of it dealing with the Trinity. You don't your your devilish twisting is not going to work. No, it doesn't, sir. No, it doesn't. Verse 75 is not talking about the Trinity. Where is the Trinity in verse 75, Nagdemon? Nagdemon, where is the Trinity in verse 75? Nowhere. Nowhere. Verse 75 is confirming that Jesus is the Messiah. So please, come on. Okay, I was dotted. Okay, I was dot. Come on. Okay, I was dotted. Um, Shadid, here is, you just read it, dude. This is the argument, sir. The Messiah son of Miriam is nothing but a messenger. Messenger is but a messenger. Messengers before him have indeed passed away. His, and his mother was a truthful woman. They both used to eat their food. Notice what the argument is. They both used to eat their food. See how we make the communications clear to them. Who's them here? Them are the same people as in verse 73 who say Allah is the third of three. And the argument here is obviously Allah says we make the communications clear to them. What communication? What sign is Allah talking about? The sign that Allah cannot be the third of three because Mary and of uh, Jesus and his mother were just human and ate their food. That is the argument that is being made here. That's the sign. This has nothing to do with, oh, she was chased or she was accused of uh, having an illegitimate child. That's not the sign. The sign is that they both eat their food. Right, Shadid? Right, Shadid? <laughs> this is hilarious. So, recap. Here it says, Allah is the third of three. And those who say it, they disbelieve. Notice here. If they do not desist, who is they? They are those who say Allah is the third of three. All right, all is part of a trinity. And here it expands on this. Will they, who are they here, who are to turn to Allah, they are those in the previous verse who disbelieve and say Allah is the third of three. Will they not turn to Allah and ask his forgiveness? And then it culminates with this verse. Oops, wrong verse. There you go. The Messiah son of Mary is nothing but a, is but a messenger. Messengers before him have indeed passed away. And his mother was a truthful woman. They both used to eat their food. See how we make the communications clear to them. Who are them here? The people in the previous verse who say that Allah is the third of three. There you go, Shadid. The connection is proven. Case closed. If Allah is the third of three, then the two who both used to eat their food and cannot be part of... <laughs> Amazing. <laughs> Sorry, case not closed because he didn't tell you who is in the Trinity in the first verse. 
So how are you claiming that it's case closed and, and, and it's verified the Trinity? All he says is that he is not part of a three. He doesn't say the three consist of Mary, me, and Jesus. You see? All he says is he's not part of a three. Very clear. When you get to verse 75, he is just talking about the ordinary nature of Jesus. That Jesus was the Messiah, son of Mary. He was only a messenger. Notice he doesn't say, and Mary, she wasn't a God. Notice he doesn't, why doesn't he say that? So your argument is a failed argument. Because he would have, if he was trying to negate Mary being part of the Trinity, he would have to address that and say, well, why does he address Jesus only being a messenger? Why doesn't he say anything about Mary? Why doesn't he say anything about Mary? How can he say, and Mary was not, you know, she was just a woman. You see? You see what I'm saying? Why doesn't he say that? Why doesn't he say, and Mary was just a woman? Jesus was just a messenger, and Mary was just an ordinary woman. If he was, if the verse is claiming to deny the, the, the Trinity there. No, it doesn't. No, it doesn't. It says she was a truthful woman. Right? So she was a truthful woman, and they both used to eat food. The truthful woman part is dealing with the fact that she claims to have given birth to Jesus miraculously. And so she's a truthful woman. Why? Why is she a truthful woman? She's a truthful woman because Allah confirms that Jesus was born miraculously. You see? So this is what's being pointed out here. So you, your, your connection is a bogus connection. Because nowhere does it say that she's part of the Trinity. Nowhere does it say that she's a part of the Trinity. You're stretching and trying to make it fit there, but it doesn't fit. Because nowhere does it say that she's part of the Trinity. Nowhere. Nowhere. So how is it that you're trying to make that? You see? When mm -hmm. it doesn't say that. And so it's very clear that this is just talking about the ordinariness of Jesus, that he's only a messenger. That's it. He's only a messenger. You see? The point is very clearly that who is Jesus? He is what? He is the Messiah. And he what? He's only a messenger. And so Allah is making it clear about Jesus not being God. He's only a messenger. And messenger had indeed passed away before him, and his mother was a truthful woman. Truthful, what makes her truthful? She spoke the truth about the birth of uh, the birth of Jesus. Right? So that's clear there. And then the dealing with the food. What does the dealing with the food have to do with? Right? Oh yeah, guy, put it on YouTube. I'm, I want you to put it on YouTube because you have not shown anywhere. And good, I'm going to matter of fact, you make your video and I'll make mine. I'll make mine too to show that nowhere does it mention that she's part of the Trinity. That you have just totally made up your own interpretation. You've totally uh, injected Mary in there in the Trinity somehow when it doesn't even belong there whatsoever. You don't. You the lie. What? Where does Allah say that? Where does He say that she's part of the Trinity, Nag Demon? Where does it say that Mary is part of the Trinity? Nowhere. <laughs> You're going to make another video and have 10 people look at it? Where does it say that? Where am I contradicting at? Nowhere. Where, where am I contradicting uh, uh, Nag Demon? No, no, but it doesn't say who's part of the Trinity, though. Your argument is that it says Mary's part, and it doesn't say that. That's the point. It doesn't say. It doesn't say that she's part of the Trinity. The Trinity, in fact, is not even defined. The Trinity is not defined. It's very clear. Certainly, they disbelieve who say Allah is the third of the three. Now, does it say what the what the three people are? No. So, how are you claiming that it's supposedly Mary is part of it? Right? How are you claiming that it's part that this is supposedly demonstrating the Trinity when it doesn't address that at all? You see. So you're, you're totally stretching, you're totally reaching, you're desperate. You're desperate. Alright, so, <laughs> total failure there. Total failure right there. Nowhere in, nowhere in any of that context does it say that Mary is part of the Trinity along with Jesus and Allah. Nowhere does it say that. What's this, Shadi? No one says that Allah, what? Allah is the third of the three. No, sir, no, sir. You do say... Well, when it, when it says Allah is the third of the three, he's referred, Christians, you believe in God, right? You believe that the Father is God. And he's the greatest one because your Bible says that Jesus says the Father is greater than him. See, so when Allah is saying that you say that he's the third of the three, 
he's referring to your belief in God. Your belief in God is that there are three beings, the Father, the Son, the Holy Ghost. The Father, obviously, is the greatest. No, sir, he's not wrong, because you do believe that. You believe in three persons. The official doctrine of the Trinity is three persons. The Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost. Three persons who supposedly make up God. All right? A person is a being, a radical. A person is a being. Okay? So you're saying that there are three beings. Right, but the Father is the most high, though. When it refers to the Father, even Christians say that. The Father is supposed to be Yahweh. Who is the Father? That's Yahweh. Who is Yahweh? Yahweh is God. So Allah is referring to himself because that's what you guys claim. That God, who is Allah, you say the Father, you say Yahweh. But it's still referring to Allah. That he is the third of the three. And you do say that. You do say that. Nak demon. Right? What's this? Nak demon. Third of three, first of three, it's still three. It's still three. No matter who you refer to, it's still three. Come on, this guy, he's trying to make an argument. As I was making this video, this is what Shadid accused me of. Go ahead, upload it, Nak, and then get refuted when I upload my response. Your kafir interpretations of the Quran won't hold. Your attempt to inject your bogus misreadings into what the Quran says just won't fly. So go ahead. I'll be looking for your pal talk upload and have my video response ready. So, uh, kafir interpretations? Bogus misreadings? Let's run to the scholars of Islam, shall we? Lest I be accused of interpreting the Quran incorrectly, or to smear Allah or Muhammad, here are a few classical exegetes of Islam supporting my reading of Surah 5, verse 73 through 75. I'll place the links to the different tafasir in the video description. Here we see Ibn Kathir on 573 saying that this um, verse is talking about Christians in particular and that Asudi and others said that this Ayah was revealed talking about Isa and his mother as being gods besides Allah, thus making Allah the third in a trinity. And also, look at the other verse that he brings forth to substantiate his claim, Surah 5, 116. al Jalalain says about the same verse, They are indeed disbelievers who say, God is the third of three gods, that is, he is one of them. The other two being Jesus and his mother. Ibn Abbas says about 575 that the sign here that Allah talks about where he demonstrates that he cannot be a part of a trinity with Jesus and Mary is because Jesus and his mother were not gods. The sign is, of course, that they used to eat food and thus were merely human. So although in uh, Tafsir ibn Abbas in 573 it speaks about a father, a son and a holy spirit, it is clear that, it is, that this is not what the text itself alludes to from the overall context of 573 through 75, but that the Quran clearly refers to Mary and not the spirit as part of the Trinity as it does in Surah 5116, 4171, and 6101. Furthermore, should Shadid Lewis desperately try to appeal to Ibn Abbas' tafsir, which I expect him to do, to show that a companion of Muhammad knew what the Christian trinity was in 573, it should be noted that Ibn Abbas himself is inconsistent.